Okay, so I wanted to talk about the, uh, the dreaded conversation that I have with so many people about finding time to practice. Um, and because I'm a, a music teacher and I teach as a full-time job, um, I get the, the bullshit excuse, mainly from the younger people. Some of the older people are actually busy, but mainly from the younger people who can't find time to practice. And um, so let me tell you a little bit about being married and having a child. Every Sunday night, me and my wife sit down with our big family diary and we see what events are going on for the week. And she's a teacher and she's also studying psychology. So we've got this little plan where we go, all right, you get two hours this day to record something or, or practice guitar. And then I get two hours to um, you know, study whatever she wants to do in that time or even mark papers. She's got so much crap she needs to do. And the rest of the time, either one of us is working or looking after the baby. So these are the lengths that I have to go to to play scales, to come up with exercises, to be able to learn a guitar solo. We have to put it in a diary. Or if I have a day of work where someone happens to cancel, I quickly cram in as much practice as I can into that half an hour. And when I was like 18, uh, you know, between the ages of 18 and 23, I'd put aside maybe four or five hours a day from you know, say 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning, and then I'd go right up until three or four, or whatever it was, and then I'd teach from four till eight or nine at night, and you know, back in the day, four or five hours of teaching was massive for me. Now I'll start at 6.30 in the morning and finish it at nine o'clock at night some nights, because that's just uh, what has happened in my career and how much uh, breadwinning has become an important part of my life to support my wife uh, doing her university thing and working less. And of course, being able to support my son and get him to daycare and do all the other crap that comes uh, from being a musician that is also a breadwinning kind of provider type as well. So one thing that, um, you know, having children and being a very, very busy man, a very busy married man and having to coordinate everything with the family um, is that I think there's this sort of negative stigmatism attached to practice sometimes like I have to practice guitar if I want to get good and my advice to all of you is cherish the fact that you get to you get to practice guitar and that's freaking awesome and I saw some guy recently uh, on a YouTube video I can't remember his name but he was saying there's all this emphasis on um, mastering the guitar you know what's that musician or whatever this is you know Master the guitar in, in 15 days or master the guitar in a couple of months or whatever it is. And um, it's kind of like they're trying to um, fast track your progress and get you from point A to point B really, really quickly. And the journey of learning guitar and putting in those hours and practicing and seeing gradual improvements and getting better and better. And even just, you know, with me uh, from 2012 when I started the channel till now, watching, you know, my shitty vibrato get better, watching the way that I pick, watching my legato get better, watch my exercises get better. Uh, even though I've only been doing it for a few years, my improvisation and my phrasing, being able to monitor my progress and seeing that practice and uh, you know my personality and my character coming out in my playing has been a really, really fruitful journey. So I think having to practice guitar is not a bad thing. We should relish the fact and um, you know, when you get to a situation like me where you have a wife and child, um, you're going to think, shit, I wish I really cherished that a bit more. You know, not not so much, I wish I could have put in more hours. I put in plenty of hours and I'm not resentful about that or any of that. It's more that I think I took for granted how great it was that I got to with the freedom that I had. So that's my little rant about practice. Um, if you guys have any thoughts or feelings of the topic, please leave a comment. It is always uh, excellent to share these thoughts with you. It's almost like a, um, a bit of a verbal diary and meets personal development and uh, therapy session. So I'm saving, you know, $100 an hour, $120 an hour. I don't even know how much it costs to pay a psycho psychologist to deal with the shit that's going on in my head. But anyway, lovely to see you all. I'll catch you guys all very soon.